take on round one is this. Uh, first, there was a competitor, a driver, who didn't make the uh, driver's meeting, didn't do the chip draw, just shows up in the staging lanes when we're called, and he automatically gets to buy because the organizer only knew of four of us being there. And so we got paired up from the chip draw. We show up and we see a fifth driver, so we're all kind of like, well, what the hell? So um, the organizer also is a driver, so he was in the staging lanes getting ready for his class, didn't realize what was going on. Uh, so I'm kind of curious how it's going to go after that round anyway, and then what ends up happening to that Mustang. So twin turbo Coyote Mustang capable of bottom eights or high sevens from the time slips I've seen. Uh, he loses traction and uh, he gets on it after that. And I don't know if he had a scramble button and if, if he used it or not, but certainly about 1200 feet, 1250, somewhere in that range, the thing lets go. And I'm sure he, he I've seen his time slip. So when he goes eight flat, he's 170 miles an hour. So he, he ran me down like I was tied to a stump. And uh, he comes blowing by me and all of a sudden there here comes the smoke and I hit the finish line and there's smoke everywhere and I can't see and I see little parts kind of rolling by me and it's like okay here we go he kind of drifts to the center a little bit and goes back toward the wall a little bit um, and there's so much smoke I really can't see where he is uh, at all times he kind of told me how it how it uh, happened for him he thought as soon as he hit the finish line he was squirrely and actually going toward the wall he didn't throw his chute he said because he was afraid of what was going to happen the direction he was pointed so he tried to gather it back in first um, eventually came to a safe stop